you want? Uh, Look at yes. that hat. Why not? Come. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. At this rate, we'll be there in no time. Yeah, we're basically. <laughs> I'm like looking at this, and I know this is barely even scratching the surface. But I suppose rock. I'm already like flat dirt track. I'm already digging this compared to the AT. <laughs> It's been awesome so far. I mean, only a few miles in. But you know, I've already taken my pictures at like the famous spot. Seen it's gotten Frodo. Got a picture of the one mile sign. We got bullet holes to a railway sign, you know. Now I just need, and there it is. Everyone takes a video of this, right? I actually think this view is cooler. Don't you just see like desperados up there and like a stagecoach or something coming through here? <laughs> I guess in the AT we had like, you know, our tales of bootleggers and stuff. <laughs> Cacti! We got some of our famed switchbacks. We got dudes over there, guys over there. I just saw a cub all the way up there. There was another one all the way up there. But it'll be fine. I just so love when the trail kind of juts around a little ledge like this and you just get these views. I mean this is gorgeous but it's nothing super crazy. Which ooh check out that I'm sure we're climbing that. Unless AT rules don't apply. Which has a ginger. You know I'm slathered in sunscreen right now. I've got this obnoxious hat on. Long sleeves, it's rough. Booty or booty shorts and legs slathered in a sunscreen. It needs to be reapplied, but still man. Being able to see everything. Even the climbs aren't that bad. Oh, well, they're not bad so far, but I mean, I'm easy so far. But the climbs aren't bad if you can like see where you're going. I should probably introduce myself, by the way. I'm Reese, or Chongo, I guess, depending on who you talk to. I uh, hiked the AT a few years ago. If there's like one of you out there that recognize me, it's because I was on there, the Trek's Tales from the Trail videos back then on YouTube. And the even less watched, Reese Trek's the AT. And now I'm out on the PCT, which is vast and open and green? <laughs> Who'd have thought? But yeah, it's been a great day so far. We got dropped off by Scout and Frodo and their whole retinue at the trailhead like seven this morning. We had overcast and like 60 degrees in the morning. There's been water. I started with three liters, which is probably unnecessary, and now I'm just kind of guzzling it. I think I'm two miles away from more. And yeah, we're pushing 15 a day, I think, up over there. Yeah, on the PCT. Feels pretty awesome. for this early morning business, but coming out of Hauser Creek Canyon, I think it is, where there was still flowing water. And now it looks like we're getting ready for our first semi-serious climb. I think it's only a thousand feet, but I mean, it kind of looks intimidating anyway. But from there, it's Lake Morena and breakfast burrito. I was able to set up the hammock last night, first night, which made me happy, but it was cold. I don't think it got into the low 40s, no one's water froze. I was kind of shivering a few times. I don't know if it's just me being a noob with the hammock quilt set up, or I don't know. Last time I took it below like 40, it was like 15 degrees, like two Thanksgivings ago. And I was toasty in my 20 degree quilts and uh, my puffy. Last night, man, I kept waking up a little cold. Nice. So, nice little flat stretch. Stopped at Lake Morena. We only did 15 the first day, which is awesome, even though we had so much downtime. But Lake Morena, trail magic, breakfast burritos, it's pretty awesome. Now we're on this nice flat stretch great and I don't know if you can see him now but 
that guy up there is where we're going. You can see turtles snaking their way up. And after that, apparently there's a pretty nasty climb, like a thousand feet or three thousand feet. But it's so flat right now, I can't even care. Oh boy, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is morning three. I'm not really a big fan of waking up before it's bright outside. It's quite cold. But the micro puff isn't as warm as small puffies I've used in the past. But man, once you're out moving and you warm up, hiking before dawn or at dawn. awesome. Plus it's weird to have like most of the work done for the day by before noon. But today, uh, it's a warm breeze actually. Today by like 11, shoot, probably 9 or 10, we're hoping to walk into Laguna and resupply, have some coffee, have a town siesta. It's hard to embrace the siesta life. I show up with my hiking partners, Maynard and Cub, and we finish the AT together. Uh, we're so used to on the AT, like no matter what, you just push on. <laughs> you just eat, eat the crap, so to speak. But out here, we, yesterday we pushed till like 2 o'clock, when most people were taking us yesterday around 11. And we paid for it, for sure. So, at least this time we'll be in a town, right? Although it was a really neat swimming hole yesterday. No shade, but there was a cool breeze. It was awesome. Man, look at this. Nice day. It's really hot. I should have taken a siesta, but my friends pushed on, and I feel like we have to talk about this tonight. <laughs> but we got a good breeze, and just look at that. It probably looks a lot nicer than it feels, but like on the other side of the mountain behind you, it's just like pure desert. Actually, what a what a change. Desert lush pine forest. Desert. We'll be heading that way eventually. Wow. I'm having a hard time believing this is where I am doing what I'm doing right now. But for now, back to the pine trees and hopefully some water. Whoa, place. right up on that snake like two steps away he didn't whistle or anything or rattle or anything Come up, I think this is gonna be a 20 mile day we've been you can sort of see the trail up there it's been like serpentining I guess is the word all around this ridge is way back there and we're heading out I'm trying to get as close as I can to Julian Day. Maybe three, four, or five miles out of town. Wake up real early tomorrow and hike in or pitch in or whatever. And uh, do a first like real resupply. We've been stopping like every day and a half at like Mount Laguna or Marina, Lake Marina, a lot like 
mulch shop they call it, and doing these kind of like small resupplies. My food bag by hiker standards is super ghetto. Like I don't have tortillas, which you know are a must. I don't have any like way to flavor my dinners. Like all these like, little things you tweak your meals with. I don't have because we've been doing like day and a half resupply so far, which is great. Wait, but I think this one actually this. This might be kind of a small resupply. We're gonna to push to Warner Springs, and then from there to Idlewild, and then that'll be probably a pretty good carry. But I'm excited to go to town, just chill out for most of the day, like hike in, zero in, and take like a bit of a like make town our siesta, you know? Hang out, Wi-Fi, text, email, phone call. I haven't really gotten any signal out here, so that'll be cool. I mean, yeah, look at that. It's been like this the whole time. It's really quite amazing. I, this is being so used to the AT, which I've got to stop comparing this to, but you know, you're just gonna go straight up and every time as you see the trail weaving somewhere, you follow it and it's like every time you're pleasantly surprised by what like interesting route it takes you. Hi, Juicy Supper. Oh, yeah, it's probably oh, mattress. Mattress. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we're staying at this RV campground tonight. Just because we took an easy day with the Julian luxury. It's very windy. So there's a problem. Because I'm driving tonight. Let me see if we get another blast of wind whip through. You'll see this just flopping all over the place. So it's what, four out of five nights in a hammock. sit in it right now and give it a shot but right through here the wind is ripping through that wasn't much no maybe it'll be okay i mean when it gets really cold i'm probably gonna feel it on the end of the cold but i don't know if you guys can hear this but I am like, even the sides of my hammock are staked down, and I am swinging in the breeze, and the tree, you, I can't, it won't show up in the light, but the tree that I'm hanging from at my foot end is like, permanently bent from the wind and shaking like crazy. Alright, it just cooled down a little bit. But this is ridiculous, it's blowing, I have a 20, it's like 60 something degrees, and I have a 20 degree under quilt under me right now, and the wind's blowing so hard that like, my arms and back are constantly chilly. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. This could be a long night. <laughs>